Shaolin broadsword. Very old weapon. Fluidity. From the leopard's test, we've been talking about in the last videos. Loose muscles. Blowing the candle out. Snap. Whip. Fluidity. We have to loosen the muscles to get the sound. Hear that? Some people order a broadsword and they say, this is cheap, flimsy. The sound is the best teacher in the world. You can hear it with the movement. The sound is an excellent teacher. If the rhythm's not right, the movement's not right. You have to be calm and smooth. So the leopard teaches muscle control, learning to relax the muscle. That's what helps with this. You can't have tight muscles and wield a heavy weapon smoothly, right? They can't be too tight. So anyway, the way that I'm doing this, if I cut up, I'm gonna put my thumb behind the hilt, twist all the way around, the blade has to face that way. Inverted serpent bite underneath grab. Hand right to this spot. Slash up one, slash up two, around. Same thing. Dull edge of the blade back. Blade forward. Up. Now if I want to do that down, I use a cross pattern. Downward cross pattern. I'm also using a cross pattern on the up, as you can see. So it's an X. If I go down, so the trick, spinning the blade around. Once you cut up, watch the fingers. Thumb, here, twist, hang. Now when I twist, spin, See, I drop it just enough to get this hand in the space. Now I can let go. The other hand's gonna plant here. I go cut up, up, here we go. Spin the blade 360, not 180. 180, you will find the dull edge of the blade like this, so when you cut, you won't have the right edge of the blade. Unless you're being merciful, which was a thing with Shaolin Temple. The monks were notorious for hitting enemies with the dull edge of razor sharp weapons because they weren't about doing harm. Neither are we. If you found this video informative on the Shaolin broadsword, Chinese broadsword, whatever, click the like button. Even better subscribe.